Yeah. Carburetors are 45 millimeters. How much is the manifold? I think you've got to take off one, two, three mil all the way around. Well, that would, yeah, that makes sense. What are they? Put, do that, put, put it back on again, dude. Let me have a look. It's going to be like that much there. Yeah. Two, one, two. Can three. you measure the diameter of that? 41. Okay. So we need to enlarge these to 45. And these are 45. Yeah. Okay. So four mil all the way around, three mil all the is way it, around. Is it, is it exact all the way, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know how to do that then? No. I don't either. Do we just need to like take the corner off or do we need to make the whole thing? Not the whole thing, but you don't want to just take the corner. You want to make smooth, a smooth transition. Doesn't matter if that's 40 mil there, but you don't want it to be a sharp step. Capiche? Nothing's ever easy, is it? Can't bolt it on. Right, what I want you to do is somehow transfer that bore with a pen around here so we know exactly how much to take off. How can you do that? Dude, if you, you have use a, a trumpet, that's a good idea, actually, man. If you it's use a trumpet, size, forty-five mil trumpet. Have you got a forty-five mil trumpet? With yeah, you? I do. Yeah. Hold on. I've got some old trumpet somewhere. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. I think this is 45 millimeter. Mommy down in the tall grass. Stick it in my. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? 45. Good. Is it? No, it's 44. Yeah, alright, thereabouts. I won't fit on that, no. but uh, if I do that, you can see. Are you sure it's, uh, it's is it, is it, when you put that on there, is it a perfect ring, yeah. basically? Good. Yeah, so you need to basically That's line. That's what it looks like to me when I look down the board. Yeah, you want to line that up pretty much where it is, I guess. Well, about there. And somehow scribe it or spray. I don't know, spray paint it, because you could spray, that will... Well, you've got a, a pen here. Yeah. What, you mean a scriber? No, no, this pen, which has got a very small ballpoint. Ballpoint? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. You're going to have to do this... Far away from the engine, yeah? Because yeah. we don't want any of the swarf to get to the engine. Comprende? Mm -hmm. Well done, Gavin Clive Davis. Yeah. And when you've finished all of this, you then have to do it the other side as well. Seriously. To match the engine. Mm. Mm. Right, guys. I'm just going to whip the cylinder head off to put the valve stem seals on. And put the engine back on again and do the correct torque sequence because we rushed it a bit on the live stream and we've added a thermostat housing today with an original Ford wax, wax stat and we've also got where's the fuel pump gone? where's the fuel pump? the fuel pump man. is it in the device? oh Pet Gav's just painted the starter motor is there we've tested it so this works where is the fuel pump we've got a 
Uh, we've got a, a breather, breather filter, pipe across. We've got a fuel filter. Hmm? What did you do with it? I don't know, it was on the vice gal. In the bin. Why did you put the freaking fuel pump in the bin? I don't know why it's in the bin, but it is in the bin. Right, that's the fuel pump that's drying, but somehow found its way in the bin. That's an original Ford as well, which is good. Don't know if it works, so we're going to have to test that. We've also got an inline fuel pressure regulator this time to help us uh, make sure that we're delivering the right pressure to the carbs from the Ford fuel pump. This is a Webcon item. And what else have we got? Oh yeah, we've got some um, fuel filter lines, some gubbins, some manifold studs, and oh yeah, we got this uh, alternator. Gav gave it a bit of a clean and a paint. We basically bought this engine from RS Motors, uh, Cortina engine with all the bells and whistles, and we've been using parts from this to complete our, our build. Go. You ain't gonna do this to the cylinder head, are you? Do what? No. Gav, you don't do what you're doing right now. You wanna match the manifold to the head. Understood? Yeah. Well, this is a standard port, and that manifold on the one side. You need to put the manifold on the head and do what you did before, so you look and see. And if there's any steps, you need to eliminate them. From the? Either the manifold or the head. Preferably the manifold. Yeah. But sometimes it can't be helped, dude, and you might have to do it from the head. <clears throat> and also, we bought this little test rig uh, from Malvern in Worcestershire, which is a Ford Crossflow engine, possibly 1100, because it says 1100. Uh, it came out of a college and it's got um, a control panel which says any unauthorized tampering with this training aid will lead to disciplinary action being taken. Did you hear that, Gav? No messing. It's got an ignition switch. It's got a choke, which is fun. Yeah, there we go. We got the choke. And it's got uh, oil pressure warning light. Anyway, it's an original little Ford Crossflow engine. We're going to fire this up to see if it works and then offer it to anyone that needs one of these engines. The radiators had it. And we're going to uh, use it as our own test rig. Oh, Gav's got his cave dwelling light. Did you need the studs? You can't just be ballsing it like that. Dude, have you got highlights on your hair or something? No, I'm going grey. You've got freaking highlights, man. It's very effeminate, isn't it? No, these are bang on. Bang on? Yeah, these are actually smaller than the ones in here. Okay. Cool. So that's not going to cause any restriction, is it? Well, uh, you probably want them to be perfect, but, you know, the other way around would be a problem. This is less of a problem. But if you think you can open these up to suit these, it would be a bonus. Anyways, there you go, guys. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm doing the cylinder head. Gav's doing some port matching for the carbs. And we've ordered uh, some motor oil. We've ordered a new water pump. And we've also ordered uh, some engine stands for this so we can fire up on the floor. And we've got a bell housing, which needs uh, cleaning. And we've also got a very nice Type E gearbox come in which is that one there and this has a very thick um, prop shaft I believe it's called I'm not sure what that thing's called uh, it's a very thick one it's a good one it's a four-speed box I think these were the basis of what Ford used to make rocket boxes They're called rocket boxes I've had a haircut um, so yeah it's a short short bursts up to about 70 mile an hour I believe something along those lines so I think it's a it's a better box and we're very happy we got it 
So thanks to Russell for supplying us the engine and the box. Thanks, Russell. Yeah, and um, that's it, guys. We're gonna do dude stock. We're gonna be announcing do stock date. Okay, we've got uh, the Carousels, which is uh, a band that plays Britpop, uh, coming here to play uh, for the day or for the afternoon or for the evening. I don't know what time we're gonna do it. Gav plays the drums in that band, and we're gonna have a barbecue. And we're going to make tickets and we're going to publish them on our Classic Carbs site. It'll be £10 uh, for one person and it will uh, that will admit your children for free. Children up to, up to, up to 12 years old. So one ticket basically gets you one adult and uh, one or two children. We're not going to be anal about it. But we're thinking about 30, 40 people. And it's going to be, when is it going to be? June the 20th? Well, we'll put it up. It's in yeah, summer, somewhere in June, somewhere. Saturday. Anyway, that's all from us. And uh, hope you enjoyed this little short update. And see you soon. Gav's got uh, a shoulder fit. Later, guys.